Hello and welcome to part 11 of the series on computer networks. I hope you have watched the previous parts of this series. If not, you can always go and check out the links are given in the description. So today's topic of discussion is error detection with reference to checksum. So in this video, we are going to learn about the technique called checksum. So let us try to understand what checksum is. So checksum, it is a value means it will have certain mathematical procedures after these procedures are followed we will get a value and that value is used to verify the integrity of data at the receiver's end now what is the meaning of integrity integrity means that value which we will get after certain calculations that value is used to verify whether data is received in the form in which it is sent so it is used to compare two sets of data to make sure that they are same. It follows the previous point that with the help of this technique, we can determine whether the integrity has been restored or not. That means whether the data has been received in the form in which it is sent or not. So let's go to the steps in which we, in which we will calculate checksum. So in the beginning, you may not understand the steps, but after going to the actual calculations, you should come back to the steps and then it will be more clear to you. So at first, so here also, like the other techniques, we will have two parts. Some parts will happen at the sender node and some other parts will happen at the receiver node. So let's see what happens at the sender node. So the first point is, the first step is that the data which is to be transmitted is divided into k number equal sized k number of segments where each segment contains m number of bits so this is like the two dimensional parity ch checking so let's say our data is zero so this is the data which is to be transmitted so it will be divided into equal sized k number of segments so so how many bits are there one two three four five six so equal size means we will take them and divide it into equal size segments and equal size means we will take the value of k as 2 that means for each segment we will take 2 to bits okay this is the first step we need to fragment the data units and divide it into k number of segments after that the divided k segments are added using one's complement arithmetic and extra bits are added back to the sum after that, what we we'll need to do, we need to add the segments. For example, see, we are taking these segments 10, 10, and 10. So we will add them. At first, we'll add these two, and then we will uh, we'll add them using the ones complement or the binary arithmetic. And after that, uh, the extra bits will be wrapped around to the previous data. So it will be more clear when we go to the calculation part. So the final sums complement is calculated. This is known as checksum. So after we get the final sum, we need to complement it. So let's try to understand what's com what complement is. So here, in case of complement, 1 becomes 0 and 0 becomes 1. That means if I ask you the complement of 101, one, it will result in 0, 1, 0 this one has become zero this zero has become one and this one has become zero so at the end what we will do we will complement it and that complemented result is known as checksum after that we will take the entire data units so let's say let's say these are our data units and after certain calculations we got the checksum as 001. So what will be sent through the transmission medium? All this entire data units along with the checksum. The final value which we get at the sender's end, it is known as the checksum. So we'll send these two things from the sender node via the transmission medium. So finally at the sender node, all the data segments including checksum is sent via the transmission medium. Now let's go to the receiver's node. So at the receiver's node, what, hap what happens? After receiving data at the receiver's end, we repeat step two, keeping checksum aside. So after that, we will keep the checksum aside and we will re repeat the step two. That means we will divide it into equal size 
size segments and then keep on adding them and use the concept of wrap around there. So after that, whatever new sum we will get after following the step two again, that new sum will be added to the received check sum. So do you remember that at the sender's note at the last step we got a certain value known as check sum? That check sum will be added after the step four is completed. And at the end we will complement it. After complementing, if the result is all zero, that means at the end if we get all the answers as zeros, then we will say that the integrity is restored or transmission is successful. If the result is not all zeros, we say that transmission is unsuccessful. So these points may not be clear now, but it will be more clear when we go to the actual calculations. So in case of this technique called checksum, we require certain rules known as binary addition rules. You have already got these rules in class 11, but still uh, for the sake of completion, I have given the table for binary addition rules. So let me show you a binary addition just for the sake of revision. So let's say these are two data units and we need to add them using binary arithmetic. So this is the table which I have given here 0 plus 0 is 0, carry 0, 1 plus 0 is 1, carry 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, carry 0, 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1, carry 1. So let's try to solve it now. So 1 plus 1 is from the table what we get 0, carry is 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1, carry is how much? 1. So 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1 and 0 plus 1 is 1, carry 0, 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1 and finally we'll get, we'll bring, take this one and bring it here, okay. In, while uh, mentioning about the steps, I said about a concept called wrap around. So what is wrap around? Let me explain you here. So here how many bits are there in the data units? As you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 bits are there. That means and the, here is and in the result we got an extra bit. This extra bit needs to be wrapped around. Wrapped around means we will take this extra bit to here and we will add the extra one. This concept is known as wrap around. So 0 plus 1 is 1 and here we'll get what 1 1 1 0 1 0 and we have taken this one to here so this one will not come in the calculations. I hope it is clear now we'll go to the actual calculations for checksum. So let's understand it with the help of a question. Consider the data units which are sent as this and this data units which are being sent is received as this. In what form will the data units be transmitted? That means after doing the calculations at the sender node, we need to say in what format the data will be transmitted. As we already know that the data units will be transmitted along with that after calculations we will get a value that value is known as the checksum and the data along with the checksum will be transmitted via the transmission medium. So this is the first part of the question after that what we need to do we need to check the correctness using checksum technique. So what we will do we will take the entire data units and divide it into equal size segments. So equal while dividing into equal size segments, we find that if we make it 8, 8 bits, it will be equal size segments. So this is the data unit 1. So you can compare it with this 1, 0, double, 1, double, 0, double, 1. Here also we have it 1, 0, double, 1, double, 0, double, 1. That is the data unit 1. Similarly, data unit 2, 3 and 4, do, these are kept one below the another. So at first what we will do, we will take the data unit 1 and data unit 2 and add them using the binary arithmetic rules. So here 1 plus 1, so we are focusing on this part now, data unit 1 
and data unit 2. DU means stands for data unit. So 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1, carry 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, carry 0, then 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, and here 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1, and this 1 will come at the end as you can see here. So here in the data units, in each data unit, we had 8, 8 bits, but here after adding we are getting 9 bits. That means 1 bit is extra and this bit needs to be wrapped around. So this one will come here and again we will add it. So I hope this addition is clear. I have discussed this it just now. After that, what we will do, we will take this final value and take data unit 3 and add this 2. Okay. So, what we will do, we will take this value and take data unit 3 and then add this 2. So, here also just like before, the binary addition rules are followed and the calculations is done. The calculations are similar. If you have understood the sum which I have taught few minutes back and then you can easily get along with this binary arithmetic rules. So here we are getting a value. See here we are getting how many bits? 8 bits only. So is wrapping around required? No, wrapping around is not required. Wrapping around is only required if there are more than 1 bits. In the previous uh, example, in the previous part, there was one extra one. Therefore, we needed to wrap around, but here, here we had only 8 bits, so no wrapping around is required. So now what we'll, we will do, we will take this data unit and take the data unit 4 and add this using binary arithmetic rules. So we are adding it using binary arithmetic rules. Just follow the transitions. I hope you are getting the binary arithmetic rules. See here 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1. So carry 1. Sorry. So this one will come down. So here what we will do? We will take 1. This one will be wrapped around and we will add it. continue adding using binary arithmetic rules and after that what we will do we will complement it I have already taught you the meaning of complement here 1 becomes 0 and 0 becomes 1 so this 1 will become 0 sorry again okay 0 0 then next is 1 1 1 0 and whatever value we have got after complementing it is known as your checksum is it clear so now through the transmission medium all these data units will be sent and along with the data units this checksum will be sent okay so what is sent i'm repeating again these data units and the final checksum will be sent so data will be transmitted as this red colored ones are the data units and this is the checksum which we have calculated just now. So after that, so this was the part which takes place in the sender's end. Now we will come and do the same calculations in the receiver's end. But while doing the calculations, we will keep the checksum, this checksum aside. So here, these are the data units. If you, uh, you can match it with the questions, these are the data units which are received at the receiver node. So at first we will take data unit 1 and data unit 2 and then add this using binary arithmetic. You can follow the transitions. I hope binary arithmetic is clear. So these data units will be added. So here we are getting an extra bit. So 
wrapping around will take place so this one will come here and then we will be adding using binary arithmetic again so wrapping around is required so as to make it 8 bits so we made it 8 bits now we will take the data unit 3 and add it to the previous calculated sum after that following the same binary addition rules we'll go on adding it so after that here we have 8 bits only so no wrapping around is required so we'll take the data unit 4 and perform the binary addition again here so binary addition is being performed pay attention to the transitions so here also we are getting an extra one bit so we need to wrap it around so for that we will add it to the previous data unit and we will get 8 bit data okay so now what we will do in the previous step what was being sent the data units along with checksum this was the received checksum so what we will do now we will add this sum to the received checksum okay so this is the received checksum how we have got the received checksum directly we haven't got it directly we have got it through the calculation at the sender's end so after adding we will get this results just perform simple binary addition here okay we have got this result now at the end what we need to do we need to complement the result so let's complement the result yes after complementing we have all ones so we'll get all zeros just try to remember the last step at the receiver node the last step was that if the result is all zeros then the transmission is successful otherwise failure so what can we say here is the transmission successful or failure yes the transmission is successful why since the result is all zeros therefore we can say that the transmission is successful okay and this is and this technique does not have the disadvantages which we had in single dimensional parity checking and in two dimensional parity checking i hope the checksum technique is clear thank you very much